Nick Nolte knows what he's talking about. It's to find some peace within yourself and not rely on the outside world, not rely on having to compete and become something, uh, not rely on entertaining to get your adulation or recognition that peace, fulfillment, joy, happiness really is already inside you. There's some boats out there that are billionaire boats. And I'll guarantee you there's some of the most miserable people in the world out there, you know. I've seen some poor people that are the happiest people in the world. The gravelly-voiced American actor has been a movie star for over 30 years, having first made his mark in the 1976 TV miniseries Rich Man, Poor Man. And yet throughout his career, Nick, who has been married and divorced three times, has had multiple problems with substance abuse. In September 2002, he was arrested on suspicion of drunk driving in Malibu. But tests later revealed that he had taken GHB, also known as the date rape drug. The arrest led to the release of Nick's alarming mugshot, featuring the actor in a Hawaiian shirt looking decidedly unkempt. Nick checked into a Connecticut hospital for addiction counseling, also pleading guilty in December of that year to charges of driving under the influence. He received three years probation and was ordered to undertake further alcohol and drug counseling and submit to random testing. A year later, he appeared in the Neil Jordan film The Good Thief, playing a character plagued by his addictions. But even that experience wasn't enough to help the actor. As recently as July 2007, the 66-year-old star was photographed by a fellow traveler passed out drunk on the terminal floor of an airport after his flight was delayed for a couple of hours. As he has said, it takes more than fame and success to make someone happy.